Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bold and italicize text. Let's get started. So whenever you choose your text in PowerPoint, you need to make sure that you select just the text that you want to make bold or italic. If you click within a piece of text, you'll notice that a dotted border appears around all of the text. That's called your content placeholder. Anytime that you see that, the text that's within it can be edited. Now the only way that you're going to see if you've made a change, uh, whether it's bold or italics to a, a piece of text, is you will see that it'll be highlighted up here in the home tab, font group, and this B for bold or I for italics will be highlighted or it'll be shaded in. And so if I double click a word, that's going to select the entire word. And then if I go up here to the B to make it bold, that'll make my text bold. And you'll now notice, even if I move my cursor away, that up here it's still shaded in, which is bold. And then if I click italics, which is right here, that'll italicize the text. And even if I move my cursor away, that will show that it is uh, still shaded, and so it's still italics. Now if I double click on the word home, you'll notice that those are no longer shaded in. And that lets me know that this text is not currently bold or italics. Now, the best way to kind of understand how to select text and how to make it bold or italics is one click will just select the area that you're currently on. Okay, so if I click the area right after home, you'll notice it is not in bold or italics. But if I click bold, or italics, notice that none of the previous text changes. However, if I start to type after the word, you'll notice that that is in bold and italics. The reason for that is because, again, when I click once, you'll notice that it'll be highlighted up or shaded up here. And once it does that, any of the following text will be in bold or italics. Now, as I showed you before, double clicking selects a word. Okay, and so if I ever want to change a word, that's how I can. Uh, quickly select the word. And then finally, triple clicking, one, two, three, will select all of the text within the PowerPoint content placeholder. And you'll see here, all of it is selected. Notice that although the word harmony is bold and italicized, you can see in the home tab, font group, that is not currently shaded. Okay, so if I click on bold, you'll see that it'll actually uh, make this no longer bold. And if I click on italics, it made the word harmony no longer have italics. So the default when you have anything selected that uh, has some content that is bold, some content that is italics, if you click those again, it'll deselect those. And then finally, you click them one more time, and now you'll see that it'll make it both bold and italics. So that's how you do that. One more thing that I wanted to show you is the uh, keyboard shortcut for bold and italics. It's gonna be Control B for bold. You can see right there, I just turned it off by holding down control on my keyboard and pressing B, and then control B will turn it back on. So that's for bold, and control I is for italics. Control I, you'll see it's now turned off and back on. I held down control and I pressed I. Finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is rather than going into a bulleted list like this and selecting all of the text, that content placeholder that I mentioned at the very beginning that's currently a dotted line, if I click on that, it'll become a solid line. Once it's a solid line, notice that now if I do a control B, it'll actually change all of the text within it. So rather than selecting all in this area, you could just go right up here click that dotted line to make it solid, then you can apply bold and italics as you wish. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about uh, how to use bold and italics inside of PowerPoint 2016, as well as how to use the content placeholders and select text. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below.